Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit your notification bells for all new upcoming videos. It's going to be a short video just talking a little bit about confidence and how to build your confidence back up if you find yourself suffering from just lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, and just trying to in, um, find yourself individually and get back to just those small things that build up the confidence and get you ready and prepared for what God has in store for you. So the first thing I wanted to go off is the list. The list that I have here is number one, accomplishing goals. Number two, appreciate what you look like. Number three, work on fixing your flaws. Number four is stop looking at others and comparing. And then number five, I put is minimizing your time on social media, watching TV, and looking at others, really, um, and others' lifestyles. And then number six, I put stop, you know, editing your pictures or videos if that's what you do. But that's just a personal thing for me. And this is what I've done to help build my confidence. I feel like for me personally, accomplishing goals was what really hindered my, I mean, my confidence a lot. It wasn't per se my like body image it was really just me feeling like I wasn't accomplishing anything I wasn't getting anywhere there were some things I needed to get done and I just couldn't figure out how to get it done how to get there and it really gave me a lot of discouragement and I started to feel like a failure and I think when it comes to that type of confidence it's different because it's all based on um, just your goals and what you wanted to do in life and what you feel that is important. And I found for me, once accomplishing the small things, especially the small things that God has placed on my heart, like um, opening my business, um, getting like stable, and just those small things for me help me build my confidence because it made me make me realize like, okay, you can do it. You just really needed to focus on you. You were too busy out in the world. And I feel like that's what a lot of people also suffer from. They're too busy out in the world, which is why I also put in one of my lists, stop looking at social media and other women or other men, because when you compare yourself, it does give you a lack of self-worth sometimes and self-esteem does drop because you feel like you haven't reached that level or you won't get there. And that's not true. It's just that this particular person got there in this time frame. And I also learned not to compare because everyone has a different lifestyle and walk of journey and some people had opportunities placed in their hand before i did or they had more resources or they had more money they had something that i lacked so i shouldn't really judge based off of me not being where they are because we came from two different walks so that's something important to also hone in when it comes to building your confidence. Um, I put down, appreciate what do you look like? So for me, I had to really hone in on my outer beauty and just realizing that I was, this is how I look. For so many years, I have been going back and forth with the, you know, the skin complexion thing, being a brown girl and just being the one that's actually in the middle. So you'll get people who you know, they'll prefer a dark or a light, not the middle. So <laughs> I feel like, I feel like as black women, we, everyone in every shade had their own battle when it comes to what is in. And I even think for other races too, because I've hung out with Hispanic people and they do that same thing too with the, you know, lighter Hispanic, darker Hispanic, South, North, you know, stuff like that. And it's just honestly just embracing what you look like regardless of your ethnicity and the color of your skin because we're all created beautifully in every complexion. I feel like I can always find beauty in every single shade regardless and um, just loving it. And I had to hone in on that and it, for me, I just started to embrace like just being a woman, just what I come with, the things that um, God created me to have and the things that he's given me when it comes to like my shape. Because for a while, I wasn't too fond of my shape. And then I realized that for some reason, people tend to really like it. So I need to start enjoying it as well. And <laughs> so I'm telling y'all, like, it's just amazing when you really start to just focus on yourself. <laughs> and then I also minimize time on social media. So I really only give myself, honestly, the longest an hour. And that's the entire day on social media. And typically during that hour, I'm always 
posting or I'm trying to edit something within my social media. So I'm not really too much scrolling. And if I do scroll, I literally minimize all the people I follow. I literally think I follow on each page the most 110 people. And that's not on each page. I think like on my TikTok, I follow 23 people, but or is it 32? Maybe I said it backwards. I don't remember, but <clears throat> I don't follow a lot of people. So my news feed or whatever it is, is not popping because I only got a minimum of people. The minimal people you have, the minimal people you look at. And I choose to look at people who are, you know, in a certain type of faith I'm in, number one, in a certain type of lifestyle I'm trying to live, um, the certain mindset I'm in. Because if I'm looking at crazy stuff that I don't agree with, then I'm going to find myself double-minded. So I don't want to be in that type of uh, mindset. So minimizing what you look at. And I'm going to go through the list one more time before I get off the video. I know this is short, but I feel like a confidence video is pretty simple. It's really just honing in on who you are, loving who you are, and building what you are. So whatever you have, build on it. So like for me... Um, I'm creative. I like to create content. I like to make body butters. I like beauty, all that type of stuff. So I'm building on it. And that's what I build on. Build on what you have. If you are a person that's good with numbers and you like counting, build on it. Or you're a person that, you know, like cooking, build on it. I feel like we all should just start building on what God has given us instead of trying to reach for what's not given to us. Because it could be a reason why God gave us this specific gift and want us to hone in on it because it can impact others in the world. And when people start realizing that there's a bigger purpose to the gift, instead of just trying to use the gift for purposes of like fame and money and idolization, then you will realize why the gift is so important to your heart and close to you and you will value it more. Um, and this is just about confidence in yourself. I know I got a little bit off the topic, but this is really about confidence because you have to have confidence in God and what God created you to be and what God said you are in order to step into the world with that same confidence within you. That's why building that relationship with God is also so important. And I feel like so many people need to really just come on in and come and build that relationship and get into the word. And that's exactly what I've been doing getting into the word and getting into who I am within God and every day is a new journey you guys I'm telling you it feels like it's just an exciting journey when you're walking with God every day is something new every day you're learning something new every day you're getting different type of wisdom and understanding that can elevate you to a new level and every day I am elevated to a new level whether it's small or big anyways don't forget to like or subscribe hit your notification bell and always continually grow and accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish Whatever it is you have set forth, you keep pushing and striving toward it because you will get there regardless if you fall, you get up. You fall, you get up. It's not about the fall. It's about when you get up. Bye.